I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Okay, hello guys and welcome back, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. In our last episode, well, we got part of Gaia back, now she's loading. And I think we'll have to go and check the laboratories for something. Now, what I feel like, like it's gonna happen is, we're gonna go check the laboratories and all of a sudden Gaia will be stolen by the other new guys. Uh, dude, can you move? Yeah, thank you. Now then, let's go. You know what, every time I need to open the actual door to interact with it, I never thought about it, but they don't have like automatic opening doors for some reason. Like, <laughs> I literally need to interact with it like an actual this? door. This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or yes. maybe just a few. To start with, you two go ahead. I'm going to poke around a bit. Uh, don't destroy the place, please. What are you doing? You're gonna poke nothing. Oh, she's inspecting the soil? Are you inspecting the soil? Because I believe that this is actual soil. Maybe she can plant stuff here. So this place was here all this time. Oh, see? Built automatic doors. Would never show up. Why didn't they? Remember that guy I told you about? Ted Farrow? He... Sabotaged things. It wasn't supposed to be this way. And why did he do all of this? I don't really remember. I don't remember Horizon Zero Dawn plot. This is a lovely toilet. A really nice toilet, actually. You hey, open? Gaia? I don't think you can open. Why doesn't this door have power? At my current operating level, I am only able to restore functionality to part of this facility. In time, that may change. Got it. What? What just opened? Oh, I think this was the door, yeah, to this. I know oh, what I've will been happen. Down here before. Yeah, exactly. That's where I first got into the facility. I think this will be the main base where I'll come to interact with stuff. That's kind of that's actually extremely handy. Like, this will be the main area and it will open gradually uh, as long as res I restore parts of so Gaia. this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Yes. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. Yes. Yes. We'll take a look. Raptors. Raptors. Okay, scavengers. Okay, I see. Well, I was able to repair some of the corrupted overrides. But it looks like I need data from more machine parts to fix the rest. Exactly. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Okay, perfect. Before this, I want to check the actual quests because I think I'm gonna do them. Oh, these are the actual jobs. I will do them for sure. Be because it will open, like, the way to override these and maybe, who knows, I might be able to actually ride them. You, you... Looks oh. like an office. Yeah. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. Exactly, and I love the spawning shares. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately, those modules were deleted when the Apollo database was destroyed. That's too bad. I guess we can recreate them or something. I mean, with Gaia's help. This is a lovely shower area. And that thing is a lovely toilet area. What's this space for? Sleeping. This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proving. 
the beds are like the place is actually beautiful. Like uh, disregard the actual decaying items. Imagine it. Everything is basically new. So white, gray lockers. Uh, I don't know what this is. A chair. A chair. This is a chair. This is upside down chair with laptops and stuff. Uh, monitors. Sorry, not laptop. Uh, this would have been amazing. Sadly, it didn't really work out. Anyway, so. I think I'm gonna do the override repairs off camera because basically it will be what? Go hunt the actual machine until you have enough material and then repair it. Looks like another office. If no one's ever been here, so who built all this. I'm planning to do it alone. Gaia did with the help of machines. Really? What? So so actual people didn't really build it? The machines did? I see, that's why it looks like so, some of the areas, they're, they're not really aff affected by decay that much because, well, I think the facility was uh, stored thousands of years or something like that without maintenance. What about you? You have, no, you don't have anything. I'll go through this place. I thought that this area was built and people hid in it during the actual attack, but I think people never visited it. This is why the chairs are upside down, all of them. St like stack, stage and stuff. What about this? What's this? I don't know. I don't understand that this is the server room, but come on. You should comment on this at least. Oh, I didn't take this. Okay, fancy. And... Ervins, Ervins, I, I don't want to go through them again. Because we went through them once. I think, yeah, that, that's about it. Let's go and meet Gaia again and talk to her. Gaia. Gaia, up. Gaia is not here. Gaia is up there. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, thank you. You go discuss stuff with your new girlfriend and have some fun. The entire place is basically empty and it's for you. Hello, Aloy. Uh, hi. Hello. So you're ready? Finally we're yes. here. Hello. Initialization is complete. Really? That's what's All quick. tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah, but two big ones first. <laughs> Where is the rest of you? <laughs> Several functions that oh, the strangers are actually more better, like better. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. Yeah. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a um. Uh, a clone of Elizabeth. 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 Yes. This was recorded by your focus. Oh yes. Who are they exactly? Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. What? The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. Oh... I understand now. The calculations are complicated, but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. So the, the actual space program worked. The actual space program the worked. So vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. I see what happened. Okay, so. It wasn't destroyed. What's so far away, and, and why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? Who? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship. The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. The Odyssey make, it uh, made up. it, no? Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? I called it. I called it. They didn't want future humans to think that 
They were out there. Wait. That's why. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Farsenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. Okay, so now we're fighting aliens of humans? What? What? I, I was joking when I said the actual, uh, like, spaceship gonna survive and then it will become a, a major twist and... Voila, it actually became a major twist. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your sub-functions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Yeah, we need actually, the rest. the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Oh, well, thank you. Query pattern. Yes. All of them? Or just part of them? What's happening? Of Apollo, Artemis, and Aluthia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. What do you mean by simply gone? If, 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 if one of the systems are actually gone, I don't think I can actually revive you, can I? And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In what? a year since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. We, we need to gather them Procuring all and that's... Hephaestus can only yeah. be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Yeah, basically. Hephaestus. Do you know what I just realized? So, Ether, Demeter, I'll tell you and after, after the cutscene. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited. So it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Okay, so since since I can really speak now, do you know the other three or four subordinate factions that she basically said that they're basically gone? They're gonna come back, but basically as a DLC. So the DLC would be the actual sub the other subordinate functions. Okay, question about subordinate functions, yeah. Oh, the subordinate functions you detected. three subordinate functions that you detected. What do we know about them? Nothing, absolutely All three nothing. Are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Oh, really? Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Okay. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... Irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly. Yeah. The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? 
Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Oh, which actually Apollo failed. was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Pharaoh. Pharaoh, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. And all three of the missing all functions the have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. I think we're gonna find them soon as a DLC. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Okay, easy enough. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? Nah, there isn't any way. I'm afraid that is quite impossible. Why? Because I'm weak. In my or you're weak. State, yeah. Launched and merged with Minerva. I am operating at less than one fifth, eighteen point eight percent, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity, exceeding that of Hephaestus. Okay. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions, which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. That's actually kind of reassuring. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? I don't think it was designed. As as it, was, it was designed to do this. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Yeah, but if, if she makes the actual army, we'll be going back to point zero where, well, uh, the entire Earth will be re-extinct and let's reboot Gaia again. Oh, that's a lot. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I 
mean, Earth posed no threat to them. We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that... If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power... Until she could take control of Hephaestus... And then the whole terraforming system... Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life. And then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere. To their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. I mean, I don't, I don't really understand why... Like, what's the intention behind it, but... You said Sirius is... Okay. ...really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers. And how did they come here? Light I guess this is what you want to ask. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster, a mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. Basically, you're fighting a super... Power. The descendants human I race. ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone. Of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. Kinda. As your own experience demonstrates, the clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But... How could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes, millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? I think she was forced. Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... Yeah. It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent? I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. That was the fourth guy or something. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Yeah, but that would be an extremely bad idea because you'll be repeating what the Earth, like the extension program. 
How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting, after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. Okay, and we have the biosphere. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. Uh, she can. If you can return yeah. Ether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me. I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve. Water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. Okay, so grab the people and let's go there. How long do we have then? At present rates, without additional factors, the biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. Oh yeah, that's a quite a large and if window. I gather Ether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them. We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. Okay, let's get started, I guess. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate function sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. That's the actual However, weather. It appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. How My ironic. Substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas oh, was located there. A that's ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Kind of fancy. Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. As for Demeter, <laughs> that's why it's ironic. It appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay. So, three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh territory. Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? Can I choose? Oh, level 17, 24, and, uh, 22 and 24. I think I'm gonna go with level 17 for now. I think I'll head for Aether. 
Then I will assign Ether as the objective on your focus. Well, if you obtain thank you. it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. Nah, I think I'll be fine. I'll j just go... I do, don't I? ...walk and get the other stuff. Come on. Come on. Let's, let's stop wasting wrong? time. Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and... A lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system, defeat Varzenith. I mean, you, live you, up to you, her you, example? Can, you can't depend on your crew. Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Kaya. Come on. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. Yes. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Well? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. Okay. Okay, okay. We secured a lot of stuff. What was this? What? Gaia? What is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. Really? Okay. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. What? So this Cyclops is a network of dro drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. Come on, I want to see it. It was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. Oh. I think I can reconnect some of them already. And it seems like there are more out there. How, how, how can I connect? There we go. More data for the dome. Error. Drone feed disconnected. Error. Drone offline. Um, yes and no. Oh, I understand now. I understand. I think I understand. Can I can I see the actual come on load? An excellent choice. Oh so so is it just a theme? I thought I got I was gonna see the actual uh, earth how how it looks. Okay, okay, I th I think I know now what's happening. This is basically my main hub. I can put whatever theme I want. Can I talk to Gaia more? I'm back, Gaia. Hello. Yeah, no, there is nothing. Okay, okay. This is kind of lovely, I guess. So the more we get this stuff, stuff, the the better things gonna be. I need to bring Ether back for Gaia. Yes. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. Exactly. Like, could oh. head back east first, check on how Plain Song's doing after the attack, or I could also look around here some more. You know what I'm thinking? Hold up. Can I? Yeah, I can go out. So I can either go proceed here or I can go back and finish a couple of these side quests. Also that thing right over there. There is a lot of stuff I can actually do in these areas before progressing onwards to this big lovely area. Okay, what I'm gonna do 
because we, ha we haven't been recording for, for maybe 30 minutes or something. I don't want to end this episode here with me basically talking. So I'm going to I'm going to actually continue it. Then I'm going to explore this area alone of recording and uh, kind of do uh, all of the side quests, the jobs, collectibles, finish this entire route. And then we're going to continue here. But now I'm going to continue a little bit here so that you guys can enjoy the series with me a little bit further. Let's go. Are you sure? Yes. I think it'll be better this way. What What's After happening? You, Aloy. Okay. I think she want to stay behind, right? I need to head further west. To, um... Get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime. And Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... Training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies, friends, can help. Actually, yes. We have a place bring, to stay now. Bring the army. Like said, Gaia can teach us. Catch us up. Bring an army okay. of robots, please. Bring everybody. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Then you go and Looking start talking it. with Gaia, I guess. You have to. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe five months when the but Earth is destroyed. I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clanlands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. Well, hell yeah, thank you. Good hunting to you, too. That's a North clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's sub-functions. Holy damn, why did Winter thing with go went black? I don't know. I want to check the actual map and... God damn. Okay, so for today's episode... I'm going to go as far as this dude. Just open the area, and then I'm gonna go back. So let's go do this. It's pretty far. It's extremely far away. Okay. And there is a lovely side quest here. Let me take a look at you, stranger. On a good trade. Come on, let's talk. It's raining? It was snowing. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Yeah. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood. It's or raining. The, Easterners think we do. the slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight. Yet you stood by the marshals. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan lands. I hear and see many things as a scout. Yes. I could share them with you. Aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then. Tell me. You should know the rebels have been busy. They've set up outposts to the west. Some settled into a camp southwest of here. And I know the marshals can't deal with all of them. So I'd stay alert out there if I were you. Thanks for the warning. Okay, thank you. Don't let the outposts might stop the rebels from killing more of their own. Maybe I can lend the marshals a hand. You know what? The more I think about it, the further this guy is. This guy is 1,000 meters away. And I need to go back here and finish all of this. There is a lot of question marks, a lot of stuff I have to gather, especially here. So I literally have to trace back to the very initial like map stages, open these question marks, have a look at them. 
So it, it will take me a while. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back to Gaia, access that area, and that's that's about it in the episode here. Oh, look, look at this. Look at how freaky the weather is. Here it's snowing. If you go a little bit, like, uh, further, it will start raining. Did you... Hold up. Yes. Exactly. So the weather system is basically all, uh, all like, freaked out. And I think the guy that we're gonna actually go save is the AI responsible for the weather system. Where, where is... Where is... Yeah. Th this. I, I need the passageway. Let's go. So, I know that the game actually put for us maybe what three, four months, but that's fine. Four months in order to actually bring these and then delay it a couple of months further. I want to go check this access area where it will give me like the actual positioning, the location. Okay, let's save here. So now, yes, what? Completed, yes, it was completed. Okay, I thought there was another camp that I needed to complete. And there's all of these unknown locations I should actually visit along with the caps and then destroy them. Okay, this entire area looks really promising. So, I think the plan for now, we had a little bit more juicy information, way too much lore, which is amazing, and now, we're gonna end the episode right here. Basically, off camera, what I'm gonna do is try to explore as much of uh, this area as possible, get all that good stuff, and then come back, because the way the main story is going, I think it's just going to the left. Unlock this, then maybe capture another... AI here somewhere and then maybe another guy there or something like this Thus in this case, I don't think it, it will Retrace back to here to these areas. So I'm, I'm gonna finish them off recording if there is something really unique I'm just gonna bring it up if there is nothing and uh, I'm not gonna bring up anything Hopefully I'll finish these really quickly and then we can jump back to horizon zero dawn here or or maybe I, I might show some of these side quests here which might be kind of cool to watch. So, thank you everybody for watching. If you have actually enjoyed the episode, please drop a like and subscribe so that you not miss any future content. See you later in the next episode. Bye-bye. The game is beautiful, by the way.